Former President Barack Obama is visiting Georgia today to boost support for Democrats in the state. That's right. The former president will appear in Atlanta to stump for gubernatorial candidate Stacey Abrams and Senator Raphael Warnock. More than one million people have already voted in the Georgia elections. And joining us now from the Peach State is CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian. Hi there, Nicole. So you attended a rally for Senator Raphael Warnock earlier today. What was that like and to what extent did the senator discuss his upcoming rally with former President Obama? Yeah, that's right. Good to be with you guys. And we are in Talton, Georgia, which is just a stone's throw away from the Tennessee border. So we're talking northern Georgia here, a really a small community that has really uh, grown in terms of uh, the Latino population here. And that's primarily who uh, the senator was targeting in his remarks today, uh, along with other uh, uh, Democratic voters, uh, encouraging them to continue to vote early. And of course, uh, this all comes in advance of the rally that he will hold later today with former President Obama and Stacey Abrams. He talked about that upcoming rally and why it's important to him. Take a listen. President Obama is someone I've known for years. Uh, he came to my church uh, when he was a United States Senator running for uh, the presidency. And um, uh, a lot of folks are going to be excited to hear from him tonight. Um, and um, we look forward to the rally. Uh, now, the senator was also asked if he would be willing to campaign with the current president, President Biden, whose approval ratings aren't too great here in Georgia. But uh, the senator continued to emphasize his relationship with the former president, again, in terms of why it's significant to have him in the Peach State here today. And, of course, this all comes uh, just a day after Majority Leader Chuck Schubert uh, made those comments to President Biden on a hot mic saying that he believes the race in Georgia is going downhill. Well, Senator Warnock uh, dismissed that. Uh, basically saying that, you know, he is confident that he will be victorious in this race, that he will win, and uh, not expressing any concern about the leader's comments, at least uh, thus far. That's right. And, and, Nicole, the senator's rally did also take place after a second woman came forward to allege that his opponent, Herschel Walker, paid for her abortion, um, encouraged her to have it. How is Senator Warnock responding to these latest controversies involving his Republican rival? You know, when a lot of these stories first broke a couple of weeks ago, uh, the senator really tried to steer clear of some of these controversies, but he has increasingly become more vocal about them, uh, putting out a statement earlier this week saying uh, that this is part of a troubling pattern. He again, in a gaggle with reporters uh, just a short time ago, also uh, once again addressed his opponent, not so much uh, these new allegations, but just uh, saying once again that he believes that his opponent is not being truthful and that that is problematic. And that, in his view, uh, this race presents a clear and stark choice to voters. So uh, you can expect that he will continue to make that argument to voters in the coming weeks. Of course, Herschel Walker has continued to deny these new allegations and also casting doubts on his opponent, Senator Warnock, uh, which has been part of his closing argument in the final stretch. Uh, Walker doing a number of campaign events today in rural Georgia. Well, as we've mentioned, former President Obama is rallying in Georgia tonight to bolster support for both Senator Warnock and Stacey Abrams. What do we know so far about the event? Uh, well, we certainly expect it to be uh, largely attended. This will be happening right outside of the metro area. And, uh, you know, really what we have seen with the former president is that this really will kick off uh, what will be a pretty robust and midterm swing, at least this weekend. You know, he will not only be campaigning here in Georgia tonight, but also he will be in Michigan and Wisconsin over the weekend, as well as Nevada early next week. And so uh, this is really about trying to close the deal for Democrats really tried to turn out the base in this final week and a half uh, before Election Day. All right. Well, Nicole Killian there in Georgia reporting for us. Thank you so much. You bet.